Here's another project I've been working on lately. It's a Baldwin DR44 1500 diesel, also called the Baby Face, based on its appearance. This one here is a Jersey Central prototype, which I've been detailing. The body is made by um, Pacific Northwest. It's a resin kit, and I got a very fine scale etched detail set from KV Models, which is finishing it off nicely. You can see just uh, how well you can see through those grills. It's just super fine scale parts. Very impressed with the quality there. Very delicate too. It's tough to work with this stuff, but it's worth the effort. I put it onto a Hobbytown FA chassis since that was the right size for this with very little modification needed. The fuel tank I just have tacked in place with some glue right now. It was actually designed to fit a Proto 2000 chassis, but I like to be a bit creative with this stuff, so I went with the Hobbytown instead. Most of the detailing is done now, so um, just have a couple of parts left to add, and then I'll get to work on the painting, which I'll show next here. Got the first color on here. I decided to start with the blue and then I'll move on to the black for the top and finish with the orange. And the reason for that is um, the first two colors are enamel and then the last one is uh, uh, Model Flex acrylic paint. And those have occasionally given me some troubles with um, peeling when I'm taking masking off if I mask over them. So I decided to do that one last just to try and save myself a bit of trouble. And for masking, I made this template in the 3D printer so I can cut the tape to the exact shape that I need for both sides. And that should give me the, at least very close to exact line that I need for the front. So I've got the primary colors on and painted. There's just some touch up to do in certain areas. And the decals are in place and setting with the solution. And while all that is happening, you'll notice that some of the grill work got a tiny bit filled with paint. So I'm using this uh, really, really thin steel wire here to poke those out so that they'll look better. All right, the paint is all finished and the details are on, aside from a horn, which I'll get sometime later. And I went with a semi-gloss appearance to give it that kind of fresh from the factory look. So all that's left here is to add some window material and then I can put that shell back onto the completed chassis there and be all done with this. All right, now all that's left is to put this fuel tank on and to do that, I'm just gonna put a bit of super glue at these four points. And hold that on until the glue is set. Now the super glue is holding, and you can see here with the way I cut the fuel tank, the Universal has plenty of room to move around inside. So with that, this project, aside from one detail, which I'll put on later, is finally finished. And I think that turned out really, really nice. And there it is on the track, all ready to run. This video has been kind of short compared to some of my other build videos. Um, I mean, I mentioned earlier, it's on a Hobbytown chassis. I've made multiple videos about assembling those before. So if you want to know more about that process, you can view any of those. And then as for the shell and the details, those were all made to go together. So it was just a matter of making sure the parts were cleaned up, fit well together and carefully glued in place. So not really a whole lot more to say about that. It all assembled very nicely, it turned out great. And those KV models details, they're honestly some of the finest that I've ever used. So I definitely recommend their products. The PNW shell, it's well made. It's not exactly perfect. If you look closely, there's almost a bit of a wave to the roof. It's not 100% straight and flat, but I understand that can be a bit difficult to do with some of these uh, resin molds. But unless you're looking closely at it most of the time, that's really not noticeable. 
Now, an interesting thing about the prototypes is that even though the Jersey Central only had 10 of these A units, um, there was basically no consistency in the design of the grill work and many of the other parts of them. So in order to cover the full range of only 10 A units, um, PNW had to make at least half a dozen different shell kits. So that was quite the undertaking on their part, and I'd say they did a real good job there of um, covering the whole line of them. And of course, KV Models had to create a detail kit for each one of those too. As for the colors, I went with what was recommended by Jersey Central Experts, which includes B&O Royal Blue down here, and Dean RGW Orange up here. As for the top, some say it's blue, some say it's black. In the photos, it's kind of hard to tell. It looked black to me, so that's what I went with. I don't know if that's 100% correct or not, but I think it looks good. So I'm happy with how that turned out. And the Jersey Central decals also turned out nicely on there. They're not available from Microscale or any of the major manufacturers, but there was at least a small company making these, so there are a few sets of those around, and the quality seems to be very nice. Now, how about if we get this thing running around the layout? Just couple that to a load of cars. And off it goes, nice and smooth. I also installed the headlight bulb, as you can see. So there it is, my finished Jersey Central Baldwin baby-faced diesel project. As of the time that this video is going up, it looks like there aren't any of these shells available, but hopefully they'll eventually make another batch of all these for whoever wants to put together a nice uh, model of these diesels.